Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are checking out Miranez's thingamabobby. This thing right here is called the Marshall EP60 Jesenia? Jesenia. Um, apparently he was influenced by my build of a seaplane thingamabobby. Uh, I'll show you guys that in a second. Uh, but this thing looks absolutely amazing. Obviously we got the twin prop at the front, uh, or at the back but at the front, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, we've also got a jet outlet right here, so we might actually be jet powered as well as, um, we might be jet powered anyway, but yeah, as well as propeller powered as well. Um, and yeah, it's a water plane, so we spawn in the water. Not entirely sure if it's got any wheels for the land. Indeed it does, so we can actually put this up down on the land if we want to, uh, and that's what we'll probably end up doing. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? Okay, so before we get started, this is the thing that influenced him to build it. <laughs> this right here, which is kind of insane, because uh, it was never meant to be a water plane, uh, but that's how it floats. Also, there are the air inlets on the very top. Anyway, if you guys missed that stream, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Anyway, let's go ahead and drag this thing back out here, and uh, we'll try and fly it. Okay, so you just have to jump down onto the wing, go ahead and open up this thing in my barbie, go ahead and close it again. It's got a storage um, place right here, which is it's actually pretty good. I like that. We got open ramp, we got open door. Now you can actually do that if you want to, presumably, because um, yeah, this is the sealed bit right here. The other bit isn't sealed, so it uh, doesn't matter whether that's open or closed, to be totally honest with you. Uh, right, okay, cool. So we got a bunch of storage right here for like thermal clothing. Diving equipment, scuba equipment, stuff like that. Let's go ahead and get into the top bit right here. Go ahead and emergency exit. No, we don't want to touch that. Uh, so yeah, this is the upstairs. Uh, we've got a bunch of seats and stuff. This could presumably do my challenge. Uh, we got the pilot seat right here. We got spotlights, cockpit lights, nav lights. All right, cool. Raised landing gear. We don't really need that in the water right now. Water flaps. Uh, thrust spoiler. Okay, throttle, prop pitch, fuel pump. Okay, stabilizer, we'll go ahead and turn that on as well. Um, turbine starter, air intakes open. Front turbine. Turbine starter. Okay, beautiful. Throttle all the way up. Rotor, water takeoff tilt. Here we go. And uh, prop pitch. Here we go, we should start moving forwards. And down. <laughs> okay, right. There was instructions on how to fly this thing. I've definitely done it wrong. <laughs> I've turned it into a submarine. Okay, so we're back in the pilot seat. Uh, to start up, key buttons on. Front turbine, air intakes open. So front turbine. There we go. Air intakes open. There we go. Good. Fuel pump on is the next thing, I believe. Uh, increase throttle to 20. Uh, to 20. All right, there we go. Um, but, 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 rotor tilt for takeoff is 25. I can't actually make it go up, so presumably it comes down. There we go, 0.25. All right, minus 0.25. All right, engage, alt, hold. Uh, presumably that's this. No, do we have an alt, hold somewhere else? Water flaps, let's go ahead and turn on all of these things. Oh, we got the throttle, thrust, spoiler. I'm assuming that the alt hold is, is this. Yeah, sure, we go with that. There we go. Uh, right, okay. Key button starter on until turbines fire up. All right, cool. Press thrust spoiler on to increase prop pitch and increase prop pitch. Uh, okay. Okay. Whoa, whoa, I died. What just, <laughs> what just happened? Is that supposed... I mean, that is definitely not supposed to happen, is it? What was that? I... Speechless. What? Is it still... What is going on? That is so weird. All right, let's try that again when it's actually, like, not on fire, because that seems like a good idea. So all we need to do is, I kind of feel like I know what I'm doing now, kind of, maybe just a little bit. Um, but we're just going to jump inside and we're just going to take off instantly, okay? Jump in the seat, here we go. Jump in the seat, go ahead and turn on all the lights because I can't see anything. Uh, presumably that's the heater, it is. 
Let's go ahead and change it to daytime real quick. There we go. Go ahead and do this. And this. There we go. Go ahead and do this. Awesome sauce. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What to take off is this. There we go. Throttle to full. Awesome sauce. And turn it on. There we go. Bam. Until it fires up. Three, two, one. Are we fired up? Nope. We are not fired up at all. For some reason. We don't have fuel. There we go. Stabilizer is going to go on. Awesome. And in three, two, one. We're in the air. All right, there we go. We actually started... Uh-oh. Uh, we actually started flying this time. That is weird. That is weird. Presumably, this is going to make us do like the... Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, amazing. So this is like an Ekranoplan, um, which is like an, a water plane. Um, ba -ba -ba, raise landing gear. Okay, awesome. GPS apparently probably works. Uh, but yeah, the, the, they're supposed to fly just a little bit above the water, and they go super fast. Uh, it's basically a big big Russian thing, uh, and they just skirt across the top of the water. I don't know whether this is the right height, but we're going to go for it anyway. Uh, and yeah, we could just scoot around, which is it's pretty insane, to be honest. That's awesome. It's so quick at turning and stuff. It's weird. Uh-oh. Woo! There we go. That's really strange. Have we got anything else in here that we want to do? We got prop pitch. I think that's supposed to be up. There we go. And presumably we'll go a little bit faster now. Where's speed? There we go. KMPH. That seems pretty fast, that does. 400. That seems very extremely fast, actually. But yeah, this thing is absolutely awesome. Um, I don't know... I... Hmm... What are flaps? What are flaps? I don't really do anything with that. I didn't really need them. I didn't need them at all. Can I do some sort of mission with this thing? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know what to do. All right, we've been called over to a plane crash all the way in the Arctic. So presumably we've got enough fuel to get there. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, we got we got more than enough fuel to get there. So we're just going to set it as a location. And hopefully we'll make it there without crashing into any mountains or anything like that. Because uh, there's going to be some on the way there. Probably, maybe, I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and set it as a location. Bam, and turn it on. There we go. All right, cool. Altitude hold is at 35 meters. All right, everything is A-OK, -okay, and we're out of here. Man, this is awesome. This is so cool. It looks like we might have a little bit of a problem very soon, so let's go ahead and change the height to 1111. There we go. And we can actually fly up in the sky with this thing. I don't want to fly too high with it, so let's go back down to like... 55 there we go 110 seems too too high uh and yeah there we go that seems about right i mean it, it's still too high for an ekrana plan but um yeah i think we're okay I, I do like how the seats are called Peasant 2 and Peasant 3 and Peasant 4 and Peasant 1 and then we got Pilot and Co-Pilot. I don't know why these guys are all peasants, uh, but I'm sat in peasant seat, so uh, yeah, I'm just going to stay in here. I am dying every time I sit in this seat, but that's okay. Um, I thought they'd fix that. Is that an ice cap already or is that that's just a bit of land? Okay, that's just a bit of mound. A, a bit of mound. Uh, but yeah, we are flying super fast, so as you guys can see, we've already got like a million miles ahead already. Uh, and we'll be there very soon, so that's pretty good. Okay, well, that was, uh, that was pretty close. <laughs> I thought I was going to smack into that. Uh, I do have to work, like, watch out a little bit because we are flying a little bit lower than those icebergs right there. So, uh, we might be come across, uh, some icebergs that will, uh, kapow us in the face. Maybe, possibly. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see what happens. Uh, but we are getting very close to where we need to be. We're about 30 kilometers away. This is the distance we've already traveled, and we've only got this little amount left, so that's actually pretty good. Um, hopefully we got enough fuel. I am sat in the pilot seat again, and fuel tank... I mean, I don't think the fuel in that one has actually changed at all, so... Uh, yeah, I, I feel like we got enough fuel. We definitely have enough fuel. Awesome. Okay, and this is what I'm talking about. I think we are just about going to clear this one, but if we were going over the one on the left, we would have probably smacked straight into it, so... Uh, yeah, that was like a few seconds after I just talked to you, which is insane. What is that? Arctic survey, uh, survey base. Ah, cool. Uh, but yeah, you can actually control it while you're uh, using the GPS as well. So you can actually fight against the GPS. Uh, and then the GPS will slowly turn itself back on. We are leaning over to the left a little bit as well, though. 
Uh, not entirely sure why that's happening, so, yeah. Okay, so we're only 14 kilometers out now, which is, uh, you know, we're pretty close. We are pretty close. Let's go ahead and turn off that GPS. See if we can roll ourselves back over to, like, a normal, uh... Yeah, I don't know why we were rolling over to the left, but we definitely are. We're still rolling over to the left. I'm not entirely sure why that's happening. Um, but we are only 12 kilometers out now. We are going a million miles an hour. Uh, so that's pretty fast. If we go ahead and we turn off the altitude hold... Nah, we'll keep it on for now. Uh, I should be able to go up and down anyway, right? Yeah, I can still ascend and descend, which is okay. Um, but what I want to do, okay, is I want to put this thing down either on the iceberg that the plane crashes on or next to it because I can I can land in the water we're in we're in a water plane so um, yeah we can we can do either or which is great uh, it's really good um, but yeah I, I do kind of want to land on the uh, the iceberg if I can if I can't land on the iceberg then we will put it in the water all right here we go let's start to slow down a little bit we could put that back to normal actually and we could start to pull this backwards a little bit there we go uh, I don't see the crash just yet we are still four kilometers out uh, but we should start to see a flyer very soon, and that'll allow us to uh, park it, I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll say park it. I'm not sure that's the right word, but sure. Um, we're getting close. We're getting very close. We're almost at the circle. Yeah. All right, here it is. Here it is. Uh, I don't know which, which one it is, though. How fast are we going now? All right, we're still going pretty fast. Let's keep dropping this as we go along. Let's go ahead and drop the landing gear and turn the brakes on. And it is this island right in front of us. It's this one. Okay. The landing gear is down. And we are now down. Okay, go ahead and cut it off. Go ahead and turn off the fuel pump. Turn off this, turn off this, turn off this. Awesome sauce. Might as well turn that off. Uh, turn the stabilizer off. And we can actually get outside now. All right, awesome. Awesome, we, we landed. We totally landed. We're using the emergency exit. <laughs> hey, there we go. It is still spewing out stuff, but uh, that's okay. We actually did manage to land it. That is insane. All right, everybody. Um, we're going to go ahead and pick you guys up. You're going to have to go ahead and get on the aircraft, and uh, we're going to have to get out of here. I do need your flight recorder as well, though, while I'm here. I just don't know where it is. I think that's it all, over th all the way over there. Uh, I'll go grab that in a second. Uh, but I'll go ahead and grab the you guys first. There's one, two. Okay, it is cold, so I'm gonna have to turn on my. <gasps> oh, I'm wa I'm really cold as well. I didn't turn on my heater all the way here. Okay, let's stand next to this and warm up a little bit, boys. There we go. All right. Okay. Otherwise, we will die. I mean, you guys will die before I do, probably. Um. Okay. Stay here. Stay. 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 Stop. I wish the command was the same as arcs, so you can just whistle and they'll all stop. Uh, but it's not, so there you go. Uh, right, okay, grab you. Did I get him? Nope. Grab him and put him outside. Alright, next one. Gotta grab you, and I gotta put you outside. There we go, there's two more, two more. Quick, get them out. Uh, can I open this? Not really, but I can grab you. Yeah, there we go. Is there one more in there? There's a pilot inside. Yo, get out. Get out, pilot. Dude! Alright, I got him. I got him on my back. Alright, everybody follow me. You follow me. You, 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 uh, you, you, and you. I didn't think this through. I don't know how many seats the plane has. I have no idea how many seats the plane has. I, I gotta be honest, though. It really does fit this setting. Like, this looks absolutely extraordinary. Like, it, it is so beautiful. Um, I don't actually know how to get on the wings. I don't know how to get in. <laughs> um, it might be a little bit of a problem, this. I... I have no idea how to get inside of this thing. Uh, is there a handle? No? I don't know how to get inside. Maybe I have to go through the back end. All right, open the ramp. Everybody in. Just jump on. Uh, how do I open this from the outside? E button? Okay. I, I, I don't know how to open the door. I can't get in. Uh Okay, right, 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 right. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure something out here. Is there any ladders anywhere? Maybe they're on the end of the wing? No. I don't see any ladders. Oh, we might have a problem. We might have a big problem here. Like a really big problem. Uh Right, idea, idea, idea. Stay here. 
You stop following me. That's okay. Stop. Stop following me. Stop following me. Stop following me. You. Stop. Okay, everybody else, stop following me. You. And you. Okay, how many more are following me? Just stop it. There we go. I think everybody stopped. I'm going to go get the flight recorder. We're going to bring it over and we're going to try and jump in. And then we can open up the back door and everybody else can get in. All right, cool. Okay, if this isn't tall enough to actually get inside, then uh, we might also have to... Uh, we might also have to get some boxes from the wreckage or something like that to be able to do this. Uh, but I feel like this one box should be enough to get in there. Uh, hopefully. Here we go. Put it on its side. Yes, just like so. Go ahead and jump on there. Yep. Jump over. <sighs> I'm going to have to move it closer. There we go. That's probably close enough. All right, jump on. Nope. Oh, it fell over. It fell over. All right, do it again. Stand it up. There we go. Good. Jump. Jump on it. Yep. Jump in. No. We're not going to be able to do it. All right, go get the box. Quick. Okay, cool. We've got two boxes. That is actually um, a pretty decent amount of boxes for this situation. If we could just chuck them that way, that'd be great. There we go. Keep pushing. Go, 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 go. All right, cool. we got to be kind of quick because these dudes have just been in a plane crash and uh, probably not very happy. And they might be uh, feeling a bit bad too, you know? Uh, but what we got to do is we got to stack these boxes on top of each other. Uh, like so. There we go. Beautiful. Go ahead and put this up there somewhere as well. All right. Stand it on its side or something. That's okay. We're going to jump from this. Oh, God. We're going to get it next to it. No, no, no. Oh, I didn't mean to grab you. All right, put that there. Put this on top of it. When I landed, I should have just opened the back door. I'm probably doing this wrong as well, by the way. There is probably some way of getting in. Uh, other than jumping on top of boxes and stuff. Um, that's never going to happen. Never. Is there any other way in? Can I go through the floor? No, probably not. Oh, I don't know how to get inside. Come on. Uh, Maybe this? Oh, I see a connector right there. I see a fluid connector on the top of the wing. I see one. I just can't grab it. Meh. Eh. 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 Yes. Yes. No. Let me on, please. Are you serious? Crouch. Yes. We made it. We did 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 it. Get inside. All right. Open the back door quickly. Let everybody in. Uh, Open door. All right. We did it. All right, cool, good. Well, that is interesting. Okay, all of these dudes are very, 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 very cold. So if everybody could just run and jump inside and follow me all the way to the front, I'll go ahead and turn on the heater. Uh, you guys don't have to come upstairs, but if you want to come upstairs, you can. Uh, and we'll turn on the heater for you. There we go. I'll grab you one by one as you come up. All right, you go there. You go there. You go there. All right, cool. They should start heating up as soon as they get in. All right, cool. I don't have enough seats for everybody. I really do not have enough seats for everybody. Do I? Is that it? Is that every? That's not everybody. Surely the. Oh, they're all outside still. Oh, come on. Come on. Three of you. I don't have seats for all of you, but you're going to have to follow me. Just jump in. They can't. They can't jump in. They can't do it. All right, quick. Hold on. Go upstairs. You probably need a seat, so I'm going to put you in the co-pilot seat. Okay, cool. Oh, man. They might freeze to death. The heater is on, but it's not really heating them. Uh, you, in, you. Follow me. Come on, let's go. Let's go. We're going to put you upstairs. Yes. Put you right there. That's good. Where's the other dude? Is that the other dude? No. Stop following me. Where is he? Hello? Other dude, where are you at? Is this him? Where is he? Yeah, that's him. That's him. That's him. All right, cool. Drop him right there. All right, the heat is on. Just just stay in here and you'll be fine. Probably. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, right, okay. Go ahead and close this door because we don't need it right now. And we'll go ahead and pick up our little box to see why the plane crashed. And we should be good to go. All right, awesome. Okay, cool. The flight safety box recorder thingamabobby is on. Let's go ahead and close this door. Let's go ahead and lock the door. Beautiful. Uh, we'll bring this. I mean, it doesn't really matter where that is, so we'll leave it there. That's okay. Run all the way to the front. Go ahead and open this. Go upstairs. And we're going to get out of here. Is everybody okay? I'm dying. The, the heater... What? How is the heater not helping us? Uh... I mean, the heater's on. The heater is on. 
I'm dying. We're all dying. Hello? Why? What? Well, they're all gonna die. Uh. Lift up! <laughs> no! No, that is not what I wanted! That is definitely not what I wanted! We have one engine on fire! We need to get these dudes out of here pronto! As quickly as possible! Come on! Keep turning left! Yeah, keep turning left! Alright, we gotta get them back home! Oh, we gotta get them back home! Uh, right, that's good! Prop pitch is full! Everything is... Okay, everything is okay. We are a little bit on fire. All right, go ahead and hold altitude if you possibly can. One of our engines is still on fire, uh, but we're okay. It, it, I think we're fine. Okay, our altitude hold is no longer working. I absolutely kapowed into that dash eight. I think it's a dash eight. Uh, that plane uh, that did crash, and we now crashed our plane into a plane crash, which is probably unheard of. I don't think that's ever happened in real life, but there you go. Okay, I don't believe we're that far away. We're only 13, 14 kilometers away, so that's pretty good. Our kilometers, we don't have a speedo anymore. Um, we don't have a max altitude anymore. Our IPS is fine. Fuel tank, we are actually using our fuel now, which is okay. That's okay. Uh, and that engine on our right is probably going to give up very soon. Uh, so we just got to hope for the best that we can get there. Um, if not, we can put it down in the water. That's okay, because it's a water plane. Uh, however, it does have a lot of damage to it, so maybe it's not okay. Um, we've got everybody on board. we still got the flight recorder. We are not landing at an airfield, though, so we're going to have to land uh, pretty close to a building. Is everybody still dying of, of heat? No, they're, they're actually okay now. So the whole problem with us dying in the first place, which made me do that mistake, um, is no longer a problem. But it might just be due to the engine being on fire uh, that's heating them up. I'm not so sure. Okay, the engine that was working has just given in, I believe, so we are falling out the sky. Um, yeah, we are falling out the sky. We have no forward power, so we're just we're just gonna fall. Uh, close the landing gear hatch. Raise landing gear, and we're going in. Okay, right, we should fall back out of the water. That's okay, and it should put out our engine fire, which it hasn't. Uh oh, is it trying to take off again? It's now regained thrust. I'm not sure what's going on. We're just going to wait here to get saved. Uh, turn that off. There we go. Turn this off. Close this. Close this. And, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to have to wait here to get saved. That's okay. That is A-OK -okay by me. Um, race landing gear, that's already done. GPS is off. Everything's off. Uh, I'm sorry, everybody. I did end up saving you, kind of. Um, but now we are stuck in the middle of the ocean. So, uh, bit of a ripperoni and pepperoni moment, I think. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, uh, I guess I'm going to end this video here. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to test out this plane for yourselves, uh, which I highly suggest you guys do, uh, I'll link it down below in the description so you guys can check it out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.